Hi, I'm Donald Drake and welcome to Donald Drake Chain Reaction Machine Tutorials. And today I will show you how to do a drum bounce or trampoline or whatever name you have for the trick, but I call them drum bounces. Drum bounces look like a risky trick, which is partly why they're so exciting, but in reality they are a low risk trick. What makes them low risk? It is because in order to make a bounce work, you have to have consistency and reliability and in fact all tricks every single one in CRM art are based on consistency and reliability now how high the jump is and what angle it propels the marble at and where it goes is up to you I'm not going to tell you what to paint just how to mix up the color so you can get what you want in fact, I never really want to directly explain how to do a trick, as the trick is merely the fruit of the principles. I am more interested in explaining inner mechanics that hope to inspire and help you invent new tricks. Anyway, first you need to make a marble or ball land in the exact same space every time, with a margin of error of a few centimeters. So, what I have here is I set up a ramp roughly twice the height of the drum you you're welcome to uh, make it much higher same principles apply a little less than the height of the drum is totally cool too and now here are the important details the launcher ramp must be connected to a 90 degree bend and the purpose of this is to reset the speed of the marble when it enters the launch ramp which is this now if I place my finger here, my hand here, and let the ball go, that represents where it would fall if it came down this way. And it is because of this wall right here which stops the marble, it resets the speed. And resetting the speed is important because you want your marble to kind of start from zero and go to 60 or whatever. You don't want to start at 5 and go to 60 or start at 10 and go to 60. You always want to have like base level nothing to your final destination. So once we roll down the marble down the ramp we figure out roughly where it goes and put the drum there and see how it does. And that looked actually pretty good. We will test it again. maybe slightly slightly forward we could do test it one more time and already that works pretty good great if you want you could hold down the drum with uh, heavy weights on all of it so it can't move or you could also hot glue it down or tape it down but you don't want the drum to move because if you have multiple bounces or during testing the vibrations of the bounce can actually slightly uh, move the drum a bit, which is uh, really dangerous because it will create fails. And I have to mention, if you use different sized tracks, such as what I have here, this isn't extremely consistent because the ball can hit the side. Same with a Hot Rails track. So if you're going to want to use a wide track, just tilt it a little so the ball is guaranteed to always roll on one place. You don't want the side motion. And where you want the uh, bounce to go is up to you. If you have a table right here, you're guaranteed success. Like, that hasn't failed yet, and I've done it, what, ten times? Like, this is 100% right here. So you could have it go to a table, which is really easy, or you could have it go to another ramp. We'll see if this makes it. It probably won't. Oh my god, it did. Well, anyway, uh, you could have a wall against here to make it, the success rate even higher, or you could uh, have it hit another drum. And if you don't have a coffee tin, a uh, full can of food works too. I don't know what kind of food this is. It's probably nasty. But anyway. Kind of. So this takes more adjustment. The more drums you add and adds a little bit more unpredictability. So 
the more drums you have, the harder it's going to be. Um, now at first this might seem difficult, but once you realize the really simple principles that go into it, you won't even consider this a trick. This is just another way to get from point A to point B. This is just beautiful sound and fury signifying jumping. I have many names. Oh, and also, if you have questions, comments, complaints, or want further information, just look uh, and type in something in the comments, and I will explain it in further detail. But otherwise, thank you for watching, and I have many names. Subscribe, comment, like, for more.